course, we're looking at Disarm by the Smashing Pumpkins. Up next. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. Seeing as you all loved the uh, Cherub Rock lesson so much, and we've just got the solo up for that as well, I thought I'd do another Smashing Pumpkins tune. And it's off Siamese Dream, it's called Disarm. And I imagine that everyone probably knows this already. I was probably the only one who didn't. Um, no, I kind of thought I knew it, but you know, I just sort of learned a few chords and that was about it. But um, I'm gonna take you through it strum by strum. Now, the very, very, very basic components of this song are a little flourish like that, which is um, two sixteenth notes and an eighth note. which is down, up, down. Okay, they don't play it like that, but that was me putting one in at the end of every bar, okay? And the chord changes are E minor seven to C, Add nine, a G, G, D with F sharp in the bass. And then back around, okay? But the actual strumming pattern in between will help you keep in time because it's just all down strokes and eighth notes. And so that goes like this. And then background. So for the first riff, you start with so the down up is just before the first um, beat of the first bar, and you're going to um, hold that for two eighth notes, okay? So and then you're going to start playing the eighth notes, but it moves to the C add nine on the like the four and okay so that's the eighth eighth note of that bar so you would count one and two and three and four and okay so sounds a bit weird slow to be honest if i play it quickly though so that again slowly And now on that change, I'm taking my first two fingers off there, so on the fourth beat, I'm taking both off, okay? And you also hold the C add nine into the next bar, only for uh, another eighth note, so. I would, um, I think I've been using my little finger there, but I wouldn't. I would use my third finger on the third fret on the B string, and um, first and second fingers on the second frets on the A and D. Okay. The reason that um, is helpful because when you're going to go to the C, he doesn't add the um, his little finger to that, to the um, uh, third fret on the E string on the top E. He doesn't do that. He keeps that little finger off until he goes to the G. But with your um, third finger there like that, when you do the, when you move to the G. You're going to be applying your first and second fingers to the second and third fret as you would do with a normal G but then the little finger does go on okay and it doesn't necessarily have to have to sound out but that's what he frets okay so you may have noticed that throughout that entire section your third finger stays put so So you're just moving the other other fingers around. No, 
Now, if you're struggling with the um, with that rhythm, just play eighth notes until you get there. Okay, so you can play it with eighth notes to simplify it. You can play this. Just like that okay so you just make sure you get the chord changes in the right place and you're good to go but this is how they actually play it on the album okay so I'll play that through for you now if I can remember it etc. So um, that's pretty much as close as I can get it to what they do. So as you can tell there's a, a little bit more than just the eighth notes going on once you get into it. So let me play it through slowly okay. Two, three, four. <laughs> live he actually simplifies that he doesn't play it as complicated as that um, and he just plays um and if you're struggling or you're not that bothered about getting all the bits exactly right i would go with that okay so here's another way you can play it I think he actually plays it like that. Because he's only really playing the first four kind of notes. So um, so that way slowly would be. Now the chorus section is basically four bars of C add nine to the uh, E minor seven to the D. Um, so for one bar each respectively. Although the D you go to slightly before the beat. So that's in full goes like this. Okay, so that slowly is just again, you take your fingers off there with the to go to the E minor seven, same as you did with the G. So worth practicing that actually. So all I'm doing there is playing the C add nine, taking all my fingers off and putting them back on for the G and the same for the E minor seven. Anyway, play around that three times. The fourth time it does come out of it with um, two bars of the all right which is very basic it's just um, that E minor to D again so you're essentially gonna play three phrases of four bars of that 
to the E minor 7. But on the fourth time, you just play two bars of C add 9. Okay, and after that, you play another four bars of. Alright, so coming out of that chorus, you just play this. And then you're back into the second verse, okay? So, um, not too tricky, it's just the arrangement in this is just really really well done um, and it's probably a lot more to remember than you think it would be don't think there's anything special about verse two again it's um three times round that um, and you can always accent the if you want to join in with the bell ringing um fourth time of that riff is then just to chorus again right but there's a subtle difference again with chorus number two so whilst it starts off like chorus one with four bars of when the singing comes in there it never goes back to that two extra bars of of c right so the second chorus is a little bit shorter in that you just play two bars of c add nine once the singing's in and then you go to an E minor to the D again, okay? So the second chorus, once he's in, goes like this. And you play that three times, then coming out of that, you're gonna play two bars of C add nine. And this is where this gets cool as well, because it sounds like you just play that same riff until the end, but it just switches it slightly on its head. Because then the chord progression really goes D for one bar, to E minor seven, to C for two bars. So they just flip the kind of phrasing, essentially. The chord pattern is pretty much the same. Um, but with the way that the singing comes in, it does change it slightly. So just watch out for that little change there, okay? Um, I've tabbed all of this out as well, so um, you'll be able to grab that over at Patreon. So going from the D, it would be this. going to go between the D and the E minor 7, which is... And then it ends on the C add 9. So I think it just does 2 at the end, between the D and the E minor. That is literally, I think, all I can tell you about how to play disarm on acoustic guitar. So I hope you enjoyed that one. Even my kids loved it, and they can't even hear it. It's so noisy, children. Anyway, <laughs> hope you enjoyed that one. See you again soon. Cheers, bye bye.